We are going to talk for a minute to Clyburn President and CEO Jacques Marquis, whose idea this junior competition was in the first place. What, what gave you the idea for a junior competition, Jacques? Uh, the first thing was they are getting younger and younger and better and better every year. Then we wanted to give them a place to perform, to learn, which is very important at this age. Then that was essentially the first two main reasons, learning, and have a place to play for the people, and they are so good. They really are, and, and also we have this festival format, a festival atmosphere that you, you strive very hard to create, not just that it's a competition, but an atmosphere where they can learn and support each other, yes? They are between uh, 13 and 17 years old. Mm -hmm. Then we have to take into consideration that they are still in the in their journey. They're mm -hmm. learning a lot. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is really to support them and open a lot of windows that they can eventually take or see through and having possibilities. And we really, really put a lot of efforts to do a festival part that it's important for them, that they will be learning a lot of stuff with a lot of great artists. Right. Rachel is a is a competition veteran, actually. She is more than that, of course. No, I've referred no, to her no. twice now but, today as a competition uh, veteran. Well, I'm but you curious. do have a lot of experience about this. Well, no, only as a competitor, but I'm curious as an organizer, what is important to you when you assemble a jury, for example? I mean, that's probably one of the most the first, components they have to do the piano. That will help. They have to play the piano. Yeah, yeah. That, will, that, <laughs> that would, would be, be helpful. That would yeah. be good. And, and naturally, because it's a youth competition, mm. I wanted them to be uh, extremely uh, in favor of young people, mm -hmm. you know, and also to help them because I ask for the jurors of the junior competition to give all their comments that will send them mm -hmm. afterwards, like doing a master class mm -hmm. in front of seven fantastic pianists. Mm -hmm. And also, they will meet all of them individually when they're out of the competition mm -hmm. to express what they thought and the ideas and to, once again, support them through yeah. this journey. That's very different uh, from the from the Van Cliburn International Piano Competition in that the, the kids actually get the comments from the jurors. That's a little different, that, right? That, that's very different. Okay. <laughs> the, the main competition is there to launch careers. In my mind, you are ready. You know, then this the learning process is done because the next day you're gonna play. Right. In these kids, it's very different. We we are there to really, really support them. What about voting? We were talking about voting mm -hmm. a, a little bit off camera. Can you talk about that a little? Can you reveal? At first, I'm not secrets? voting. You're not voting. I'm not voting. But there I, are seven people who are. They are, <laughs> and it's a very simple process. It's a yes/no process. Then we have 23 competitors for the first round, and we have 14 for the second round. And I will I will have the sheet for all of them, and they will have to point out the 14 that they want to listen to again, which is a good question. Do you want to listen to this person in the next round? Yes or no? You know, and it's no discussion, no deliberation. Actually, it's pretty boring because everybody receives his, his sheet, put his name on. We have some maybes in case of ties. They put, the, they give us the sheets. We compile. We come back and we say these are the fourteen. Okay, let's move on. And we have four rounds instead of three. Rachel and I were also. We've been talking a little bit about repertoire. Rachel, can you just refresh our memory a little bit about what you were saying about choosing repertoire for a competition and how you go about that? Because I want I want to talk to you about the same thing. Well, I saw that you had some certain requirements, of course, time, but also specific repertoire like the Bach, Prelude and Fugue, and an etude, which is very standard also for university exams and entrance exams. So I feel like that's very good for the kids to be, you know, prepared in a few years if they want to pursue music as a major. Um, but yeah, when you are assigned only 20 minutes and you have certain requirements to fill, I mean, that's a very important thing to discuss with the, I think, the teacher for each student um, to showcase your individuality, your personality, and they also, I'm sure they have to love the music they play, so, um, yeah. I'm thinking also that that in the Clyburn you have, you've, you've had the best of both worlds. You've, you've got certain requirements. There has to be a prelude and fugue in this round, for instance, and we've always talked, 
We've already talked about what a frightening prospect that is for mm -hmm. each player greater than you. But there are other requirements as well, right? You've, you've yes. specified other things in other rounds. In other rounds, we'll ask for the second round, for instance, a classical sonata. And we, we also choose the one that they can play. Mm -hmm. Same thing for the etude, mm -hmm. the studies. Mm -hmm. Then they, you know, playing Mozart or Haydn or Beethoven is very telling at this age. And it's, it's the basis of a lot of, of work that they will do in the future. Then they want, we wanted to have that requirements from the start. They always have an open place that they can surprise mm -hmm. and also uh, um, just bring a, another flavor at their playing. And we right. saw that already. Right. Rachel, what do you think about playing Mozart and Haydn just quickly? Do you think it's easier to do it when you're 12 or now? Not that you're too much older than 12 now, of course, right? I, I think that certain things are easier when you're younger, definitely. And, uh, you I don't know what you don't know. Yeah, yeah, life gets a little more complicated, <laughs> but you know, I, I think it's a fantastic age to learn all sorts of repertoire, and, and like Jacques said, classical, the classical sonatas are, are really a core of our repertoire. Great. 